You can get pretty much everything else on demand these days. Why not poetry? Can you write a love letter to my cat? Sure. Enter Gio Cerro, who calls himself the on-demand poet, writing for strangers about whatever they choose. He recently spoke to CBS News. When best friends are here, we always are in high spirits. We turn hate into love. I feel connected to people. When I write a poem for them, I'm digging down deep so I can give you something back. You know, I wanna, I wanna move you. This is something Gio realized when he was a lowercase g, when he wrote a poem to his grandpa for his birthday. I remember he cried in that moment. I think it imprinted on me that you could move people with words. But for Gio's full-time gig, he landed his dream job working for Tesla. I realized as the couple months went on, like I didn't really like what I was doing anymore. There was no passion. I began to realize that writing needed to be the thing that I, I did. And so he did and started Geo's Typos. With a little table and a typewriter, he can jot his poems anywhere. He also works as a poet for hire at events, allowing them to pay what they want for his work. But why do this with a typewriter? There's no delete button. You get to see my train of thought. I think that's the cool art part of it, is that you watch me create this poem, but then you also watch me like mess up a little bit, or not mess up, or write something I didn't like and go back and then restart. Gio's words even bring in comfort to those who need it, like Marsha Briggs, who encountered Gio on the day she had to put her cat down. When I saw Gio there, it was almost like, yes, you can, you can relay my feelings and my emotions. I really cherish the poem. You know, when they cry, I cry. It's really hard because I'm trying to think, like, how does this person feel? Like, what are they going through? Proving a little bit of compassion goes a long way. So I have a joke that I say that I, um, we're all walking around with our emotional trash bag, and when someone comes and brings me something like that, I like go in my trash bag and I start searching for all the experiences that I had that maybe I can relate to. To help make their day a wee bit brighter. A lot of times we, I think we hold back our feelings. So what I do is I try to bring those emotions right to the forefront. I wanna give people those feelings, whatever it is that they, they want from me, I want to I give it back. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.